group has released a video showing one of its fighters in Iraq vowing to attack our nation's capital. The fighter seen in the video praise Friday's attack in Paris, which killed 129 people. They call on Muslims in France to, quote, ignite and kill soldiers and tyrants. One fighter says Muslims should strike in the West, saying, quote, we struck France on its ground in Paris. We will strike America on its ground in Washington. We wanted to know whether security agencies here in El Paso have heightened their levels in wake of the Paris attacks and whether this will be the new normal. ABC 7's Darren Hunt continues our complete coverage. Darren. Estella, I've been in contact today with the El Paso Police Department, the Department of Homeland Security, Customs and Border Protection, and even the management of local shopping malls here now. None of them would admit to raising their level of security, although DHS has put out a statement saying it is consulting with state and local law enforcement out of what it called an abundance of caution. Now, the I can tell you that some noticed as more security personnel present at this morning's citizenship ceremony at the Civic Center in downtown El Paso. There were also barriers set up blocking off the convention center area, although no one would tell us they were because of what happened in Paris. Now, I did speak with UTEP Special Events Coordinator Jorge Vasquez today about this weekend's UTEP football game at the Sun Bowl. The attacks in Paris centered around a sporting event and a concert, which is exactly the business that Vasquez is in. Because of what what happened in Paris. Vasquez admitted he was following the developments very closely. Security will be high at Saturday's football game against Louisiana Tech, he said at the Sun Bowl. We're very, very confident that what we have, it's, it's, um, it's to the standards that they need to be. Um, of course, I cannot give you too much information as to the particulars of what we're doing, but rest assured that the university makes every effort to, to ensure that every event that we have, when we open the doors, it's a safe and fun and enjoyable event. Now, Vasquez went on to say, unfortunately, this is the new normal, but it has been that way, he says, since 9-11. While security agencies were hesitant to give us any info today, a professor in UTEP's National Security Studies Institute did speak with us about the situation. You'll hear his thoughts about the new normal coming up at 6. Estelle? Okay, we'll see you again at 6. Darren, thank you.